Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Morning, Jamie. How are you? Did you get my text? Did I send you a text? My message on Discord. I sent you a message on Discord. Your parcel should be arriving today. Right, let me just adjust all of this. Right. Okie cokey. You're very excited. Well, once you can get through all the packaging. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Nick is a... Um, I don't know if James has ever mentioned this, but Nick is an eBay seller. He sells a lot of, um, you know, like lead soldiers, the old toy figures that you used to get in like the 1800s and stuff like that. And he packs... There's a, a joke in our house that Nick creates parcels that people are not allowed to get into and he goes overboard with packaging and so when I said oh I need to send this to Jamie and he was like you're going to send it in that because I, I, I found this beautiful box and I was like yes I'm going to send it in this box this will keep it nice and protected and everything and he was like no 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 that'll get damaged in the post no I'll, I'll wrap it <laughs> so I'm just saying you're going to have enough bubble wrap for 2024. That's all I'm going to say. Okay? <laughs> but I'm really pleased that I managed to um, get it done and get it to your house before Christmas. Right. Right, what colour do I want? So that is sort of like... Hmm, very sort of soft brown. But it's almost like a, like a dirty brown, isn't it? Let me just make sure that ivory goes down here. Better to be safe than sorry. Oh, right. Why is... There we go. I don't know if you got disconnected then, but it just said network error. Oh, gosh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? So I apologise if people got disconnected. But yes, it is better to be safe than sorry. No, there's some sort of network error up here. It wasn't you, Jamie. Or just you, I should say. Right. Jamie, have you sent me um, on Discord? Well, you can do it through Natalie if you want. I'm collecting... Uh, Christmas messages to go in James's Christmas card from the Anxiety Gang. If you wanted to have a message in the card, so I'm going to start writing it out soon. I've got about. Uh, well, Natalie sent me a fresh load of messages this morning. How many are we up to now? I am up to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I'm up to 23 messages. Oh. It went again. Sorry. Um, I'm up to 23 messages so far in to include in James's 
Christmas card from the Anxiety Gang. So if you want to include a message. Okay, what's going on here? I know it keeps going. I, I don't understand. Um, I'm really sorry. I don't know what is happening with the signal. Apologies, apologies, peeps. Um, let me see what I should do about network error two thousand. Network error two thousand Twitch. Uh, it usually means a problem with your internet connection. In this instance, you should verify your internet connection and refresh the stream, Twitch website or server. The issue can also be with the Twitch website or server. Right, okay, well, I've just refreshed. So, we'll just have to see what happens. But, I mean, at the minute it says my signal is excellent, so I don't know what's going on there. But what I was saying, Jamie, <laughs> morning, Natalie, um, we're having a few connection problems. Uh, what I was saying, Jamie, was if you wanted to um, send a Christmas message to James for his Christmas card from the Anxiety Gang, you can send it to me via Discord or you can send it to Natalie. Natalie's been collecting uh, people's Christmas messages. I am collating them as we speak. I bought, well, I went and got, hang on. I picked these up yesterday. All my different um, colored pens so that I can make them look all pretty. No, Jamie hasn't done his yet. No, I've not had one off Jamie. And we need one from his favourite mod, right? <laughs> Didn't realise I existed a bit really. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry about it, I thought Amanda or Emma had gone it when they asked about the present. Oh, okay. Sorry, the connection keeps going on this this thing. I don't know why. It says the internet is fine at my end, so it might be a problem with Twitch. I know it keeps going. It's going to be one of those problems that I can't do anything about I'm afraid it might be an issue with twitch
Also, James would disagree about that favourite mod comment. <laughs> Uh, I don't mind. One of my streamers that I mod for edition kept having to restart. Yeah, it's it's so freaking annoying. Because every time I think that it's going okay, I look up up at my I look up at my screen, and my screen's gone blank. And it says you need to restart. I feel like this stream is going to be like in a gazillion pieces now. I'm going to have to keep looking up and checking it. Right, um, do, 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 do. I need this bit to be done, don't I? Uh, you all are tea drinkers, are you? Yes. <laughs> yes, we are. Hi, Moose. <laughs> it's about to tell you all about my favourite coffee. Tell away. Tell away. What makes it your favourite coffee? I mean, I have the odd coffee. Um, <laughs> this is because Faisal isn't here. It's Vietnamese. Vietnamese coffee. Do they export that then? I don't think of Vietnam when I think of coffee. What's it called?
Right, it keeps going. I'm really sorry about this, guys. Please send your complaints into Twitch, not me. It's gone again. Um, I hope this doesn't happen for the two hour stream. Me too. Because it'll be our last one right before Christmas as well. So uh, It's just from my local coffee seller. Vietnamese coffee is really strong, but not as strong as continental. Javan is also good. Javan? Javan? Just have to take your word for it. annoying and it's really annoying for you guys more than it is for me probably but. There's mango. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Spelled Jamie, but close. Jamie would have to bring out his own brand of um, PG tips. Sort of like um, the Jamie Christmas special. keeps buffering this is really annoying what the hell is going on with twitch today I'm just gonna go and check to see hang on let me just move this let me just go and see if um, twitch is stating that if they're having any problems doesn't say Twitch 
Twitch outages in the last hour. Okay, so there are a few reports of people having Twitch down at the moment um, with video streaming. Most reported problems, 45% video streaming, 31% server connection, and 24% with websites. So it's not website, so it's either the server or the video streaming. What can I do? What can I do? It says at my end, my connection is fine. It says excellent even, so Oh Javan from the island of Java. Oh okay. That makes sense. Uh they spot your name Jamie then. And you're not good, Jamie. You're great. You see? You see? Twitch is being a right damba. I don't know what damba means, but Twitch is. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's not something good. But yeah. It's so annoying because, you know, it's like at this end, everything is fine. And it's just, ah, uh, it's just so annoying because it's something at the other end that I can't do anything about. And so it's going to go again. There we go. Uh, I taught Jamie 1699 slang. A damba is a rascal. Okay, right, because I was wondering where that word came from. 16, like, why are we teaching people 1699 slang? Let me just have a look. Damba. A rascal, a dishonest person, a man belonging to a criminal gang. <laughs> okay. How do you know this? How do you know this, Natalie? You bought the first dictionary of slang from 1699. Oh my god, that must be amazing. That must be amazing I like some of the old um, medical books because of how they used to think that the human body used to work long long time ago oh it's a reprint okay, okay it's gonna go and we're back and um, I've got one it's called uh, I think it's the Harris medical texts and it's almost like a, a, a dictionary of medical uh, terms and issues and some of the things that they suggest that you need to do to solve certain issues. Oh, it's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. There 
There we go. Back again. This is gonna drive me insane. Yeah, old medicine. In um, ancient times, they used to believe that there was the four humours, didn't there? So there was um, uh, blood, phlegm. Uh, what were the other two? Oh, geez, now I can't remember them now. Uh, the four humours. Oh, there we go. Blood phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. So those four things were meant to sort of like um, bile. You see, you got it. Uh, was to determine like a person's uh, temperament and whether they their health was in balance, and so they would. They would treat you accordingly as to what they thought was wrong. So, like when they used to think that if they bled you because you had an excess of blood in your system, and so they would bleed you and they would take out pints, um, thinking that they were helping you. And you could be like suffering with anemia, which is, you know, you need your blood when you've got anemia. And um, what the fridge magnet is bile. Bile is actually something that is produced in your body by your, um, obviously your bile ducts, uh, your liver, your pancreas, your spleen, I think, all create bile to sort of help you um, digest and things. But I don't know where they got yellow bile and black bile from. And um, Yes, yeah, so they would bleed you, and they uh, there was one treatment that they used to do in mental asylums with people who they considered to be crazy. If they thought you were, um, if you were hyperactive, if you were full of energy, if you were mad and you were crazy, they used to think, well, what you needed to make you better was to have the blood of a calm creature. So they would take your blood out and replace it with the blood from a lamb because a lamb was considered calm and uh, peaceful and that if you had the blood of a lamb inside you instead that you would get, that you would get better. <laughs> and it's just... <laughs> Oh, when you think about it now. Yes. <laughs> Back it to be fair. Well, you know, then next time you lose it, Jamie, we'll we'll replace we'll replace your blood with lamb's blood and we'll see how you get on. <laughs> trepanning as well. Oh yeah, okay. So trepanning, where they would drill holes into your skull to let out the, uh, the the bad demons, the bad spirits. Um, yeah, Japaning was one. And there's an, there was another where they used to think that um, if you drowned, if you'd been underwater, a river or a pond or whatever, and you had drowned, when they pulled you out, they thought the best way to make you recover was to blow smoke up your bottom yes which is where you also get the phrase blowing smoke up your ass um, because it was like it was useless it was it was pathetic so that's where you get that phrase from <laughs> That's disgusting. Where can I get 
this done. Well, you've got to drown first, Jamie. You know. Fun. There's always a catch. <laughs> Isn't there just? I don't want to jinx us, but we've kept signal for longer than we ever have so far this morning. Oh my god. I'm so nervous now. But what sort of weather has everybody got? Because, I mean, outside, we've got beautiful sunshine. You can probably see it sort of... Bring my finger back there. Glowing through the... the uh, the blackout screens. It just goes to show how hard it is sunshining, which is weird because uh, wait, if it comes at like 11, that's come blo well, yeah, absolutely. If it does arrive at that time, because we, I don't think we posted it to like three o'clock yesterday afternoon or something like that. Um, clear and relatively warm. Yeah, I mean, yesterday. I was eating lunch and uh, outside it was absolutely tipping it down with rain. It was yet another like monsoon season outside of our house. And uh, I was sat eating my lunch and Nick said to me, he says, hey, you know when you've, when you've finished that, do you want to come Christmas shopping with me? Expecting me to say no because the weather was so bad and I went, yeah, yeah, sure. And he went, oh shit. <laughs> This is how we've got to go. <laughs> and so we went out Christmas shopping yesterday. And, um, yes, we got a little bit, a little bit damp. And, uh, but now, it looks amazing so I'm gonna be able to go outside and be able to walk Rosie today and I'm gonna be able to uh, listen to the rest of a Christmas Carol it's nine degrees where we are uh, windy but sunshine sunshine all day what's the weather gonna be like for Christmas Day Windy but sunny. Three degrees and raining. Oh, sorry, Moose. <laughs> oh, we had that yesterday, if that makes you feel any better.
pack rat sitting on a pile of useless things. Oh my gosh. Pack rat. A pack rat sitting on a pile of useless things. Hang on, let me. I'm going to need to get a new scrappy. A new scrappy pad. Sitting on a pile of useless things. Okay, I've got my coffee and my hoodie blanket on. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're nice and cosy, Moose, so that's something. Um, I'm just sort of thinking, Ratty, 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 Ratty. How do you draw a Ratty? Colours. I, I need colour. Hang on, so let's just do a little... Do like some little ears. It can be like a Dumbo rat rather than a normal rat. Moose understands coffee. <laughs> no, actually, they've got two little. Two little teeth. <laughs> Give them a little. Um. Give him like little paws. Big long feet. This is such a bad rat. I should know how to draw rats. I used to keep rats. I used to keep pet rats. And it's been a while since I um It's been a while since I had some. The last few I had were three boys. Oh god, that's really tiny, but there you go. Um, it's really tiny. Um, three boys that I adopted from um, from Pets at Home. And they were called Blake, Finley, and Harper. And I got them when they were like uh, 16 weeks old. And rats are only meant to last for about um, 18 months to two years of age and these lasted four and a half years can we have down here? We have some a few crumbs. Looked a bit slimmer. Whiskers. And we have little whiskers that come out the top of the head as well. And what else can he have? Let's 
let's have him sat on um what else what else <laughs> this is gonna be on my new profile picture slow pressure uh, uh. okay what else does a pack rat sit on top of um have uh, like a, a bit of paper Get some writing on it because rats love paper let's give um cheese because rats like cheese mice hate cheese that's a fallacy but rats love cheese so it can have cheese so yeah that's what I've got so far a little cutie patootie this can be like a ball of wool because you know Natalie asked for it so oh let's also do um Natalie asked, we would do like a pair of knitting needles and there will also be like a crochet hook. <laughs> Such a bad crochet hook, but there we go. Um what else? What else does oh Natalie if it's we've got to have a cup of coffee then haven't we so let's have um let's have a nice cup of java book pages let's put a big N on the cup for Natalie there we go it's our little pack rat should we give our pack rat a color um hmm let's do him in a soft brown have a yellow uh, a white belly and this thing underneath him can be like a this little treasure chest of things that that's what I was trying to get with this bit here it was a little treasure chest of things And we want yellow for the cheese. And we'll have a nice, we'll have a nice purple ball of wool. Because, you know. Channel representation. Hi, Artsman. Um, the wolves turned out great. Yeah, we moved on to a pack rat. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. They have kind of like a, a pinky tail, don't they? So let's put a little pinky tail in. Little pink paws and feet. Because they have the cutest feet. Uh, oh, and a plant. Okay. A plant. Um, okay, let's have, uh, we'll have a nice big planter behind here. And we'll have a 
like one of those monstera monst monstera sort of plants Can't draw plants, can't draw plants. Um, not off the top of my head. And these need to be nice and green. Doesn't help that I'm trying to draw these things really quickly too. <laughs> I suppose I could have made my life a lot easier by just drawing like a cactus. Has my music stopped? Right, let me just, um, let's go. There we go. Um, a book of 16.99 slang okay <laughs> let's have um have a very large book then the book can go here And I feel that needs to be in like um like a leather bound might not be leather bound but it is now. can't just draw us a photo of Natalie and say you drew it. There you go. There's, there's your little... <laughs> I'll take a photo of it and put it on Discord for you. <laughs> it's kind of cute. I like it. I need to do the... Um, what colour should the flower pot be? I feel like it needs to be like a terracotta colour. I've got terracotta. Where is it? Burnt ochre, sanguine terracotta. There we go. There we go. It is kind of adorable. I kind of like it. <laughs> I do like that actually. I'm going to have to um, draw it properly. Uh, maybe I'll order a commission next year and get you to do a full drawing of this dude. Or, oh my gosh. It is kind of cute, isn't it? Who knew? Who knew when you said, as a joke, draw a pack rat? on a pile of things. 
<laughs> I'll take a picture and put it on Discord. Hang on. Let me get the camera out. It is cute. I can't do it here. There's, there's shadows. There's shadows. I'll take it later. I'll take it at the end of the stream when I do the... Um, I'll leave it there so I don't forget. New PFP inbound. PFP? Explain. Because I don't fully understand what you mean by PFP. Oh, profile picture. Thanks, Moose. <laughs> I see. Pro see, to me, it would be PP because profile is one word. So it should be PP. But, okay. <laughs> PP could be someone else. That is kind of cute. P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P P Yes, I did. Brush, brush, brush. Um, actually, speaking of commissions, are they roughly the same as your other works? Maybe. Oh, speaking of commissions, are they roughly the same as your other works? Maybe more. What do you mean, maybe more? Oh, as in more money, cost. Um, it dep it depends on the on what is requested. It depends on the size of the piece of artwork. Um, I'll put 
I'll put the prices of everything on the uh, on the Discord, so you can see. Because it also depends as well, because it's like if it's the, if you're talking of coloured pencil, then obviously coloured pencil takes a long time to create a piece of work, which is why the cost is um, more. But if it's like an ink drawing, which is quicker, and if it's going to be a, a cutesy little doodle, then the price is going to be less. just because well it's not going to take up so much of my time so because um, it's not just the materials or 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 the skill that's involved it's the it's the um, the time also that it takes to create um, a piece so a coloured pencil piece because it takes it's such a slow medium and it takes a long long time it's of that's obviously going to cost more than um an ink doodle but i'll put it all up on discord I still have that line going through. I don't need that line going through the center of this. Well, it looks like Twitch finally sorted out their issues. We've not had to uh, restart for a long time. Uh, I wanted to ask a while ago, I forgot it would be ink. Oh, okay. So is everybody set for Christmas? Because, I mean, obviously we've got, excuse me, we've got less than a week to go. Christmas Day is Monday. Is everybody set and ready? I feel that we are pretty much there now. It's just going to be that horrendous last minute food shop on Saturday. Though to be fair, I say horrendous last minute food shop on Saturday. Nick will do it. <laughs> I won't do it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, I need to buy my dad a food hamper. Oh, cool. Excellent. I bought my dad a food hamper once when he when he first discovered that he had uh, type 2 diabetes because my dad loves sweeties or as you should say my dad loved sweeties and he had such a sweet tooth and so when I used to buy him a, a hamper of goodies every Christmas and you know thanks for helping along the diabetes Nicolette um, but then when we found out he was diabetic I was like well how can I send him a food hamper and then of course found out that it was food hampers for diabetics that was full of sweeties and stuff and I was so happy about finding these things and sent them to him and he hated them because they were all sugar free and they all tasted 
different and he didn't like them and he ended up giving half of it away but I didn't find out about that until much later uh, you've left it so nothing perishes good idea good idea doodle Christmas day oh my gosh um, oh, I don't know how to doodle Christmas how do you doodle Christmas day um, can I just do representations of bits of pieces of Christmas day what happened to the what happened to the Christmas tree that I had? Well, there's going to have to be another Christmas tree then, isn't there? So, because that is like pagan star on the top of the tree. So we've got to have the Christmas tree. I'll colour it in in a minute. And then we've got to have like um, some presents. A little weird shape. There's always a weird shape present under the tree, isn't there? Always. And then what else do we have for Christmas? Oh, sorry, you can't see it. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Um, what else? What else represents Christmas Day? There's got to be like... How do you draw a turkey? Like a cooked turkey. <laughs> because... Oh, oh. Um... Cooked turkey right okay so I just had to have a moment there I just could not picture the, the correct shape for like a turkey right so we have like this big there's some other little bits and pieces around here boom, 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 like Roasties or something. That is going to have to be my re representation of Christmas Day. So... at my house it's all about Christmas dinner and watching the kiddies open the presents under the tree so I we'll have that there and I need other colors we we'll better have like some green veggie bits let's pretend there's Brussels sprouts under there yeah Um, uh, too many years we have two special dinners lights stay up in my room year round so they're not really Christmas lights okay special dinners are Christmas day and New Year's day and then like an afternoon tea on the Christmas Eve but this year will be different because my mom isn't here she comes back from America on the 28th so Christmas will have to be New Year's oh well that's nice though that you still get to celebrate with your mum. That's cute. I won't get to see my mum this Christmas. Oh, 
I'll go and see her in the new year. I've just not been able to sort of fit it in uh, this year. Whoops. have I don't know what this orange thing is down here but let's just pretend it's a piece of cheese for the pack rat yep uh, also working every day except Christmas Eve Christmas Day and Boxing Day and the Eve and Day of New Year so that's fun oh yeah very much Uh, I need blue, 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 blue. Well, I've got to be looking after um, my brother's cat, so I've got to be around every day for Christmas and New Year. Um, and then obviously, just after Christmas, James and Nick are going away to Ireland to... visit Nick's brother, James's uncle. So yeah, so there we go. A little bit of a reputa reputation, representation of Christmas Day. Christmas tree, prezzies, Christmas dinner. There we go. And some wolves because yeah we've been working on those too <laughs> i feel like we had you know this took up some time but i really i actually really like the composition of that even though it was quick and scrappy it was fun uh now the green hair makes sense yeah top of the morning top of the morning that was such a bright green it wasn't it it was so bright. I was expecting something slightly darker. Like, you know the picture of the wolves? You've got that sort of like dark green in the trees. I was expecting that sort of dark green and it wasn't. It was that bright, vibrant, I would be able to see you coming in the dark kind of green. Reminded me of Gecko from Vallo. Oh my god. Well, yeah. I mean, in a way, yeah. He does have yellow, um, like a, that yellowy green it was it was definitely limey wasn't even all over yeah but he was trying not to get it all over his headphones wasn't he and all over his his stuff i mean i was spraying it on and i was getting it all over my hands and when, even when we did the purple hair that was just horrendous it was everywhere and thank god it came out in the wash because otherwise it would have looked like i belonged to the purple hand gang but uh, yes, anyway, right, okay, let's finish for today. I will put the doodles up in Discord. Um, I'm gonna go off and probably walk the dog before lunch. And um, yeah, thank you all for joining me. Pleasure, even though we had such problems with Twitch at the beginning, I hope they pulled their finger out and have got everything sorted now for the next two days at least and uh yeah have a great day guys um enjoy the rest of your day enjoy the preparations for christmas and i will see you tomorrow take care guys bye